<laughs> okay, how bad are things hosed? Eh, not, not too bad. Facebook wants me to update my group's cover photo. Yeah, that's the optimal time to do that. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Let's see if I'm actually here. Uh, no, it is super lagging on my uh, PUs 100%. This is not, not going to work. No. What, uh, what can make this happier? It was much happier. When I'm it at home, of course. Well, <laughs> yeah. Let's see if that makes it any happier. Well, it's made my uh, mouse come back. I turned off your monitor over there. Yeah, that's so fine. Now you, now you can't see things. It. What? Yeah. We're, hey, we're doing a live TV show over here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, CPU. That's not going to be. Oh, okay, good. <clears throat> What's your name? Barry. Oh, USA Barry? Okay, yeah. Yep. That's me. <laughs> My table's over there. It's in the other building. James said to tell you hi. Yeah. Yeah, I talk to James pretty regularly. Can I send James a picture? Sure. Okay. Are we live? Let's see if we're coming through the Facebook group. Now well, that is totally hosed. You were talking about easy yesterday. I was? <laughs> yeah. I'm not so sure editing is uh, any less <laughs> cumbersome. Well, the first time. The first yeah. time you set one of these up. Yeah. It can be a problem. <laughs> I can't tell if we're live here or not. Of course, I, I may have sent it to the wrong place. Hey, everyone wants to, now that we're doing a live show, everybody wants to uh, talk to us. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> good to meet you, Barry. I see the problem. I went to the Ham Radio Now page, not the Ham Radio Now group. Oh. Okay, so yeah, apparently we're sort of live. Sort of live. <laughs> Which means, um, let me, uh, I got to turn my switcher back on.
Hey, everybody. <laughs> this is Ham Radio. Can I... Uh, I was going to look and see if I can share this anyplace, but I'm not offering a share. We try, I was trying to mess with that last night. I was sharing Bob's video onto my, but I couldn't do it from my phone. From the computer browser, I could probably could have done it, but I couldn't do it from my phone. All right. So this is um, the Orlando Live Test. Orlando Live Test. Yes, we are. <clears throat> in Orlando, and uh, we are in theory live. And uh, <laughs> in theory, I am uh, this guy, Gary Pierce, scan for AQ, and you are uh, Jason Johnston, KC5HWB. I didn't get that set up quite right. I mean, I'll do a live adjustment to your name. Okay. So I've been working very hard to not guess two, you guessed one. <laughs> Been working very hard to get a, a, a live switch set up um, to run from the booth through my laptop computer, which is a very powerful laptop, yeah. but does not have enough graphics card to make Wirecast happy. Ah. So. That's the um, pro- Yeah, well, that's the problem with the <laughs> laptop. Yeah. Well, you can get gaming laptops. You, you can, yeah, sure. And I thought I'd spec a pretty high end mm-hmm. video card. Hmm. But it's a workstation laptop. I uh, use it for editing. It's great for editing. Mm-hmm. Doesn't need... I mean, it's it's a real high res, and I thought it was a good... How much video RAM does it have? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Is that... The button to make the titles go away is not working. Oh. All right. I don't really have a split screen for us. And unfortunately, you can't see what's going on anymore. No, I no. To turn off that monitor was really screwing That's things okay. up. That's okay. That's all right. So um, there's Jason, the uh, host of Ham Radio 2.0. I'll adjust the camera just a little bit. Okay. And there's me. And... Uh, I need to do a little work on the color on my camera, too. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that when it was showing over here, it was, I think it's because of all that white in the background. Yeah. And I, the light, and they didn't, <clears throat> they didn't put your new bulbs in either, did they? No. Mm-hmm. Uh, here, the problem is uh, this is a, uh, a booth with a curse. <laughs> <laughs> and there's some fluorescent lighting mm-hmm. over the top of it. Yeah. And the, the bulbs are out. The bulbs are out. And the folks uh, a couple booths away were doing embroidery and they had this booth last year mm-hmm. and they said they were out last year. Oh. And they couldn't fix it. They can't climb up there and put new bulbs in it, huh? It's not just bulbs. Maybe apparently. it's the ballast. Yeah. It, ba- it must be a bad ballast. Hey, you, you know what? they could fix that too, but... You know what you don't have? You don't have mud in the floor. So that's a plus. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have running water. <laughs> and running water floor. underneath. <laughs> I got to remember to keep switching cameras. I uh-huh. really should put up a split screen. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So it's it's uh, it's drier. Yes, it's much drier. And if, if a thunderstorm comes by, it'll stay dry. Yeah, because this is an actual building. So. Yep. That's this good. Is, this is what they used to call Commercial Three. Oh, okay. And it is now the North. The nor- Hall. North North Hall, North Wing, North Hall, whatever. So if anybody out there is watching this, that mm-hmm. is going to be coming to the Hamcation tomorrow on Saturday, you'll find us in North Hall. Right. So you just came by to help me launch this thing. Yeah. I'm glad it's not a somebody who doesn't understand. <laughs> What's taking so long? <laughs> no. It's one of those things. Yep. I really need a split screen. I don't like switching cameras back and forth this much. I'll set one up. Is it is that something you do in the in the software? Yeah. Okay. But you haven't done you you gotta do it before you start recording? Right. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, I mean it takes a few minutes. Oh, okay. Okay. Because you do that a lot on your, on the production, sh- on the stuff, the, the episodes I watch, you and David split screen all the time. But. Right. Yeah, I just have to set it up. And okay. I didn't set it up between these two cameras. I'm, I'm more limited than I want to be. Yeah. Um, as I'm discovering the limitations of 
getting in and out of this laptop. <laughs> uh, okay. The the, uh, the camera switcher is on a, a number pad, and if you've watched the show before, you've seen that. But the laptop doesn't have a number pad, so I got a oh yeah little outboard number pad. Um, on the main system, uh, I can gang numbers on here by using the aux key or yes. the, sh the control key. Mm -hmm. And so instead of just having you know, zero through nine plus a, f a few peripheral keys, mm -hmm. I can double up on them. Oh, and okay. That's where I do the titles. So I hadn't tried to set up the titles yet for this. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I went to try to do that, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work between the... There's no aux key on the number pad. Right. So I try to push aux on the computer, and a number on the number pad, the titling, the it switching system it, it pays no attention. Doesn't come up, huh? Yeah. So I do have this shot, which is... Um, up there? Yeah, it's way up there. It's not, mm -hmm. not great. <laughs> so yeah. It sort of shows both of us. And look, you notice the camera stand that it is on? Uh-huh. Uh, it's a little... It's a little wobbly, yeah. A little wobbly. Uh-huh. Yeah. And if you could see a monitor, you could tell. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it shows up. That's okay. All, all of the cameras are set up like that. Um, let's see. Yeah, the shot. Is, I don't have any shot that is showing all of the uh, the wobbly cameras. Do I? Well, yeah, here. You can see there's a camera. It's on not as wobbly a stand. And there's my yeah. camera. It's on not quite as wobbly a stand. The same stands, but this little curlicue in, in the... Uh, um, what do they call this? Uh, I've always called it a bendable arm, but okay. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, okay. Flex I don't know. Yeah, flexible, I guess. Flexible. It's, yeah. yeah, so it's flexed into a, into a like half a circle, and uh, uh -huh. that gives us some stability. But this camera, the back up here that you can't see, but... It's straight up. Yeah, it's, it's like it's reaching up into the air about four feet. Yeah, yeah. So uh, apparently I've got a little more work to do before I invite uh, some more guests over here that are expecting a professional show. Well, well I mean, if you're, if you're going to do, you know. Do an audio I show. I mean, if, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, you could do that. But if you're going to have two more people over here for these two mics that are sitting over here, then that, that camera up there is all you really need anyway. So. I mean, because yeah, there's actually, not a this this camera. I will turn it a little bit and uh, point it at both the second person. Okay, in. okay, there you go. You okay. can do that. Okay. Yeah, this is not my uh, typical five camera setup. No, no. We've I think you had three last year though when we did that show with Katie. Uh, I had four. Was it four? Yeah, okay. I had four cameras set up. Okay, and, and I've got them, but but what they the problem is they require recording and post editing right and what i'm kind of hoping to get away from is the editing and yeah just do everything switch live here I, even this camera is bouncing a little bit and with just my elbow on the table right yeah it's, <laughs> take your hands off the table <laughs> move slowly so how's your show doing it's doing good uh i've got uh what qualifies as good well, to me, qualifies as good is um, the subscriber counts going up, and I still get subscriber on YouTube. Subscriber on YouTube, yeah. yeah I got ten thousand five hundred subscribers on YouTube, you've and got, that does, doesn't mean a thing. You've because, got more than that. Well, yeah, but they don't watch. No, but the the number of people who watch each video increases. Like, so I'll put a video up. You know, a year ago, I'd put a video up, and I'd have. I don't know. I don't remember the exact number. Say, say 300 people watch it in the first 24 hours. Well, now I put a video up and have nearly 1,000 people watch it in the first 24 hours. So, yeah, I mean, I've got 97, 9,800 subscribers, and they don't all watch, but, you know, some of them will watch. Some of them, not, not everyone is interested in every subject you put up. Like, um, you know, I put up a lot of DMR stuff, and I got guys who watch my DMR stuff, and then I've got guys who watch my new radio reviews. And then I do interviews. Like, I did a Flex Radio interview f about a month ago. I bet that was big. That was, yeah. And I had a lot. Of, but it, but most of your guys who are going to use Flex Radio are not going to be interested in the Chinese DMR <laughs> HTs. So, you know, I mean, it's kind of it kind of depends on your audience. You know, some people will, sub I think, I th my suspicion is some people will subscribe and say, oh, I like some of the stuff he does. I'm not interested in watching every episode. But that's okay, you know. Um, but the... 
the subscriber count is growing, and I was walking around here yesterday just um, kind of checking out everything, and everything, uh, shoot, uh, like a third of the, there's only a third of the people here. Two-thirds of the place was empty. It was kind of filling up, starting to fill up towards middle, late yesterday afternoon. And But I had several people come up to me and say, oh, yeah, I watch your show. So I always, I'm always encouraged by that. So... Uh, so that qualifies as successful. That qualifies to me as yeah. successful, yeah. A thousand yeah. or so views on, and some shows more. Actually, most of them are more. A thousand or so views in the first 24 hours. Um, okay. See, I put up, my last episode I put up was last month. I try to put up an episode every Monday. So today is Friday. So it's been five days since I put up an episode, and I looked last night, and the, the episode I put up five days ago has over 2,200 views. So it's... They, it gets hit real hard the first 24, 48 hours, and then, it's, and then it slows down, but it keeps moving up. So, I don't know how many of those people are watching five minutes and coming back later and watching another ten minutes. I don't know if that's happening. But well, you, Do you, uh, you go look at your YouTube uh, statistics? I, I do, but I don't do it every week. Um, I do it every ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. but And, and I'm, I'm assuming you have discovered that on YouTube you can see the... Uh, Audience retention. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's one of the first things I discovered, actually. <laughs> yeah. So my curve on audience retention starts way up at the top, and then within a couple minutes is down below fifty percent. Yes. And within a couple more minutes, it's down to about twenty-five percent, hmm. and then it kind of drifts slowly down to about twenty percent by the end of some of the shows. Right. Yeah. So um, when when you see that initial number that says you know, twenty-five hundred people have watched the show mm-hmm. 2,500 people have watched the first two minutes right <laughs> right and correct and then uh, you know maybe 500 or so have watched all the way to the end yeah yeah so does that bother you uh well you know I mean don't you want to just reach through the screen and you know, keep yeah, watching yeah, take yeah. Their, take, grab their off control and turn it off well, people's attention spans are just real short. And most uh, social media gurus will tell you to keep your videos short, and like five to ten minutes short. Yeah, and, I, don't, and no, I don't do anything they tell yeah, me to do. Yeah, none of mine are that short. I think the shortest video I have is like 15 or 16 minutes, but I don't know. It's No, I don't, I don't think I would... Ch- I mean, yeah, I would change it if I could, but I'm, I'm happy with the way it's going. So I'm just, you know... Like I told you last year, and we've talked about before, I'm kind of, when I started this, I didn't expect it to be anything. And so my expectations have been blown out of the water. <laughs> so <laughs> and so, so what, you, what you're getting is keeping you happy to yes. keep on going. Yeah. yeah. You know where I'm going with this. That, so I, that I'm quitting. Yeah, that you're quitting. Yeah. I'm a quitter. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, well, I'm, you know, but you've been doing this a lot longer than I have, right? So, yeah, this is six years. Yeah, yeah. Started in Orlando, this very Amfest. So exactly six years ago. Exactly six years ago. Yeah, and and the show is not quitting because David is going to keep doing the show. Right. So it's just me that's going away. Okay. But that's yeah. And Bert I mean, is going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bert. I mean, congratulations, Bert. You you outlasted me. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm talking about? K one O I K. No, I don't know him. He does. He does a. Uh, he, he's got his own YouTube channel. He does okay. short, to the point, tightly edited videos that are all terrible. Oh, all terrible, in, huh? <laughs> in, in my estimation. In my so let's talk about our environment for a moment here. We're okay. in, in the North Building, Commercial Two. People can see it behind you. Yeah. Uh, in addition to not having any lights over this little corner, mm-hmm. and let's see, can you? See, yeah. There, I bought a couple of lamps, uh, you know, one down there at uh, Walmart last night. Oh, okay. just to help fill in a I, little bit. I was gonna, you know, because on the front of that lamp it says USB powered, and I'm like, oh, that's pretty slick. So it's it's not USB powered, USB power. Oh, it's so a, a okay, USB uh, port on it. USB port. Okay, so yeah. it plugs into the regular wall power, and then it's got USB charging ports on it. Yeah. Well, that's that's still kind of neat, I guess. Yeah, I, I do like that you got the daylight balanced bulbs. That was not a nice. Well, because it was going to be in in the fluorescence. I was actually looking for a CFL bulb, and they didn't have any. Oh, all, really? All LEDs. Oh, okay. So uh, we start with um, no light 
in this corner. Mm-hmm. I'm, a, I'm an Orlando fan. I like the ham fest. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. I, don't take this as you know, <laughs> whining and complaining. This, but this is what we do. This is what I do. This is, you know, <laughs> observe the environment and comment on it. Right. <laughs> and if it's great, um, I'll eventually get around to saying what's great. <laughs> eventually. <laughs> But um, the also uh, uh, directly above us, there's this great big honking piece oh, of yeah. metal that I'm hoping doesn't fall down. The air conditioner that is currently not running. Right. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, yeah, can uh, any? Let's see. Not that camera. You'd have to turn it up. Yeah, you'd have to move. Yeah, it. you can see an air conditioner. Oh, I can get all the way back and see it. Our lack of bulbs and stuff. Is it gonna? Yeah, you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna unclip it from the table. <laughs> Really screw that up. Uh, this is live. Yep. There we go. Oh, I'm getting spill from that light. Let's keep this over here. Yeah. Okay. So uh, no air conditioning so far, mm-hmm. and um, and no light. Mm-hmm. And we're doing a live show. You want to be on the show? <laughs> Nah. <laughs> Got to duck way down and you can be on the show. <laughs> right. There you go. You're on the show. Yeah, you're on the show. Who are you? <laughs> Give him a microphone. K-I-4-M-Q-L. Say it again. K-I-4-M-Q-L. Where are you from? Blackshear, Georgia. And yeah. you're a big fan of the show? I watch y'all all the time. <laughs> See? There, there we go. I watched y'all uh, when you were at uh, Dayton. Yeah. So all of that and everything. Yeah. Well, thank you for stopping by. Good to see y'all. Yeah. I knew I put a face for the person. There you go. <laughs> it's a TV show. You can see me anytime you want. <laughs> so uh, take that, W5KUB. <laughs> <laughs> now I know him. <laughs> So I gotta get that monitor working. Although, but if I if I do, you're gonna be looking over there at the monitor, uh, and not over here. It's, yeah. So the monitor, should, my monitor should be set up over here, or maybe right there where that microphone is. Yeah. Except so. if I'm if I'm ever gonna get three guests, they'll yeah, have to yeah, be there on that yeah. microphone. So it's re- good to kind of glance at, but I'm I mean I, I I wouldn't be watching it talking like this. I don't I don't think I would. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. But all right. So um. So we got no air conditioning mm-hmm. so far. So far, and it's going to be eighty degrees today. Right. I, I think, you know, it's winter time. Why do we need air conditioning? It's you know, this right. is February but because we're in Florida. We're in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> it was thirty degrees when I left Texas on Wednesday morning. So uh, yeah, a little bit warmer in North Carolina, but but we've had a seesaw winter. It's you know, so it go we. from twenty degrees to uh, to seventy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That well, that's Texas does that all the time. Yep. I need to do a little bit more work on your uh, camera. I think I don't have the focus fixed. I thought I did. Shouldn't these autofocus? Yeah, I don't want autofocus because it's going to hunt. Oh well, that's true. Oh, they went off. Control. Yeah. There we go. Turning off focus. <laughs> that was a good freeze frame of you. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, you're even. Television is is a um, it can it, television can can be a, 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 a evil mistress. <laughs> yes. In terms of freeze frames and things. Yeah. You know, yeah. You, you watch all the new shows and you wonder where where do they get for the politicians that they don't like. Mm-hmm. You know they'll. they'll <laughs> They'll, right. get a, they'll get a shotgun. <laughs> yeah, where, yeah. Do, where do they get those? Well, yeah. they get them from freezing Freeze. frames and TV. That's right. Yeah. You know, That's exactly as you right. talk, it's you know it, it gets weird. That's right. <laughs> and it's okay while you're talking, but you do the freeze frame on it. Mm-hmm. So it's funny. There's probably at every one of those shows. There's probably a producer whose job is to go through and grab bad stills. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm. Oh, I'm. That's no doubt what they do. Okay. So. Um, Air conditioning, we'll find out about. Mm-hmm. Uh, the light, I think, um, we'll discover that there, that I'm not going to get any more light mm-hmm. this uh, this weekend. Probably I can, not. I can, I can no, make this not. camera brighter, and I should. Uh, I thought I had it set. Um, yeah. I spent all day Wednesday 
putting this together, and every step of the way was an hour-long fight. Oh, and there really? were only so many hours in the day. I'd have more fights than I had hours. Yeah. So yeah. 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 But I finally thought I thought I had everything working, including being able to have that monitor down there turned on. But well, it's you've got a lot of inner tie connections to make. So yeah. But I thought I thought mm-hmm. that I had them all set. Well, and then I took it all apart and brought it down here and said, oh, I, "But I knew this was going to be a problem." <laughs> so you were mentioning the microphones. Yep. Yeah, I noticed that the. Oh, well, hang on. With, wait. Oh, the nine o'clock prize drawing. There we go. I don't have a ticket. I don't either. <coughs> Congratulations. He's he's watching the podcast. Who is? On Facebook. Whoever that was. Oh. And saying, <laughs> actually, pretty good chance at 10 o'clock in the morning, they've been over for an hour, pretty good chance he's still here. Pro- oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, so, complained about the air conditioning and the light. I don't have anything else to complain about. Everything else is great. Well, I mean, you know what? It takes a lot of effort to put on a show like this. But when I bought my tables this year, I bought a... They called them a non-commercial table last year. They said, you'll be in the commercial building, but you'll be in a non-commercial <coughs> table. And I'm like, well, okay. Okay. What is that? I, exactly. What is that? I think it's for like more like, um, well, like shows, podcasts, maybe clubs, maybe a DX association or something like that. Um, well, this year they didn't call them that, and now they've got commercial guys set up all around me selling stuff. There's a East Texas Towers right there across from me, and Radio Waves is right next to them. Um, and for some reason, I, I don't remember why I did this. I ordered two tables, and I don't need two tables. I was thinking that I could have that's two tables like this. There, isn't it? No, they're like eighty bucks a piece. Oh, that's, yeah, that's very different. Right, most of the tables over there. Well, I'm thinking of the ones in the where they put now, the drapes and if, stuff. Up. If you're talking about a booth like this, it's like three and a quarter. Yeah, yeah, and in this building, it's two fifty. So right, it's a little bit. Cheaper. So it's a little bit cheaper. Um, and I may come. I may try this building because I would like to have a setup like this with the two tables front and back. I have two tables side by side, eight foot long each, and I'm like, I don't need all this space. I'm not. I'm going to be walking around. I'm not going to be in my booth. But the thing I would I would complain I would complain about is I filled out their form, and I sent them a check, because at the time they either when I clicked on the link it either crashed the PayPal site or <laughs> something wasn't working. And I think they fixed that pretty quickly. But I just went ahead and filled out the form and mailed them a check. And like a month or two went by, and this was like last fall sometime, month, month and a half went by, and I'm like, I haven't heard anything. So I emailed him and I said, did you get my check? I mean, the check cleared the bank. I knew they had it. I was like, can you tell me something about, you know, confirm that with me, tickets, whatever? Oh, yeah, you should have got an email. He's like, I forwarded it to you again just now, and I'm like, I never got it. <laughs> I didn't get it the first time. I didn't get it when you forwarded it this time. So, but he said that I could go to Will Call, or, or not Will Call, but the vendor check-in, and my stuff would be there. I'm like, that's fine. And it was when I, I went there. In fact, two of the guys in the booth, they recognized, oh, hey, Jason, <laughs> we watch your show. <laughs> See, the successful podcast I was telling you about. There you go. And, <laughs> but, uh, so it wasn't any big deal to get here and checked in, and I got my badge, and they had my tables, and it went, and, but, but yeah, they, I never got any confirmation, email or snail mail, otherwise, that my check had been received and other than the check clearing the bank yeah i'm trying to remember um my online booking was successful yes i probably got email back yeah because i would have been looking for something right so everything worked fine Mm -hmm. getting uh, getting set up here and of course um peter meyer the uh the chairman Mm -hmm. um, last year he gave me a free booth Yes. Because they had some empty space over there. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't get that back this year. The ARL has uh, expanded their space quite a bit. And that's where we were. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's right. Yeah, that's so. right. Yeah, ARRL is really big over there. Yeah. So. Uh, but on another note, 
Dayton still doesn't have their stuff up yet. So it's three months until Dayton. Yeah, they had, and they had big trouble and complaints with getting things right, set up. So. Uh, Marty did the legwork of getting my booth set up uh, or getting oh. the, the, getting the, the contracting done. So Okay. I didn't get in on that last year. Okay. Yeah. So I wonder if they're going to have to do tents or uh, again. Um, they got... They have acquired a building. Yes, um, cause yes. Because the furniture, the fairgrounds furniture, had to got got moved out. They yes. were not happy about it. No. Yeah. Um, but the building they were hoping to get built is not going to get built. So they'll have in, in time four buildings this year instead of three. Yeah, and that won't give them enough. No. Extra space that you know. Well, you, they're going to do a, a talk here, and you're going to yes, record it. Right? Yes. That's yeah. Tomorrow tomorrow morning. In fact, I just talked to them. They have a booth over there in that building as well. And um, I talked to the guy um, that was Mike, the guy whose name is on the forum presentation. And So I talked to him five or ten minutes this morning, and he's real excited that I'm going to record it and put it up there for all everybody to see. And I put a positive spin on it because I'm like, you know, yeah, there's stuff that they could do better. There's stuff everybody could do better, right? But it takes a lot of work and a lot of effort to put on something like this. So, I think people a lot of times, <laughs> especially with social media, everybody likes to complain about everything. So, well, you know the thing about complaining, complaining goes directly to the pleasure center of the brain. Yes. Yep. <laughs> that's right. So, but it, if we weren't for complaining, what would we do? Podcasts? <laughs> we wouldn't have podcasts. Yeah, that is true. Well, yeah, mo- actually, most ham radio podcasts don't complain. They're- no. But bunnies are cute and fuzzy. And, yeah, and they, they were this morning too. The sun is going to come up tomorrow too. Oh yeah, that's the news. <laughs> and now the weather. Well, what's the weather too? <laughs> <clears throat> well, anyway, um, I have a little bit of more work to do here to get the uh, wirecast thing squared away. Mm-hmm. But um, apparently, we're still alive. I don't know. Let me hesitate to push the button and see. Uh, oh, yeah, it's still still live out there. There's It shows nine people, one of which would now be me watching. <laughs> so, um, watching your own. Yeah. There you go. So uh, I'll try to get Facebook up, and maybe I'll be able to talk to David. And um, Good. Yep, yeah, and we'll, we'll carry on. Do Good. you have any questions for me about bailing out here? Are you thinking, why am I doing this thing And if Gary's getting out? Or are you just coveting the potential mm. audience to scarf up? Uh, probably, well, probably the second one. No, I'm not, I'm not planning on doing anything different. Um, like I said, I haven't been doing this nearly as long as you have, but, you know, I think our subject matter, our subject matters don't align very regularly. It's a, it's a rare overlap. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't do so, radio reviews right, much. Right. Yeah. So I think, and that's my I get more hits on those than anything. Yeah. And I did uh, I did a technician class and I did a general class and those are still those are each about a year year and a half old, and I still get people watching those. Uh, still get good comments on those. Uh, I'm trying to find an extra class. Everybody keeps are you gonna do an extra class? I'm like man, if I can find someone actually teaching one, then I'll record it <laughs> and put it up on the show. <laughs> but uh, but I did start recording a CW class a couple of weeks ago. He's gonna do five or six sessions for me five to ten letters per session and practice and that kind of thing. So that that's going to work out nicely. But, yeah, there's not much overlap, I don't think. I don't uh, – the tapper thing you do is neat, um, but it's not – I'm interested in it, but there's other stuff I'm more interested in. So it's not that I don't care about it. It's just that I don't – I care about other stuff more. So, you know, I don't think there's going to be – but I might, you know – I might see if they they'll give me this spot next year. <laughs> Say, bring, oh, bring some lights. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> bring some of my studio lights or something. And, uh, kind of take the spot because there's not. Uh, so you're not going to go to. You said you were. Or we're not going to go to Dayton. I am uh, debating. Debating. Definitely not going to get a booth. Okay. Um, okay. The, my question is because I'm not getting out of ham radio, and no. I'm, and I'm not getting out of ham radio now. Like entirely, I'm I'm going to support David. Yeah, and he can't get to the East Coast stuff, or even right. He wants to go to Dayton some year. Yeah, but he's got a job, Mm -hmm. a family, Mm -hmm. and a limited amount of of vacation time. Right. So he can't travel as much as I've been able to, and Mm -hmm. I've never been to a West Coast Ham Fest. 
Um, I, I got to Huntsville a couple times and wanted to go to, to uh, Hamcom in Dallas. Mm-hmm. I haven't even been to that. I was going to ask you about Huntsville. I'm going to Huntsville this year, and that would be the first time. I've never been to Huntsville before. So I, it might be one of those that I do once and don't worry about again. I don't know. It might be one of those ones that I kind of flip-flop back and forth between this one and, and that one. I want to go to Dayton every year, but I'm not really – I don't plan to go to – every show every year. Hamcom I will because it's 30 minutes from me. Yeah. But but Hamcon's fairly small. You know, they only had about a thousand tickets sold last year. So now all the big vendors are there, but but they're moving it back to Plano this year, which has a much, much better outdoor parking area for outdoor swap fest flea market tables. So I know everyone's looking forward to that. So I, I bet they're going to do really good this year. So it's got an outsized reputation because people talk about it a lot. Yeah. But it doesn't, yeah. doesn't get a lot of people. No. Well, they moved it to the Irving Convention Center about three or four years ago, which is a brand new, very nice facility. The problem with that facility is, number one, it's expensive. They make you pay for parking both days. And they want you to park in a parking garage. Well, people with ham radio antennas on their car don't want to park in a parking garage. That's a bad idea. Tell me about that. Yeah. How does yeah. that work out? Right, exactly. So the first year they had this empty field on one side of the building and they parked there. Well, now there's a building in that field. And so the next year they parked in this field over here. Well, now there's a building in that field. So it's in an area that's just exploding with growth. And there's just no, there's nowhere to park. Uh, they make you well, pay you for stop parking. complaining about that and because they're moving back. They're right? moving back to Plano. Yeah. yeah. So... It was just, it's a nice building. Other than that, it was a terrible location. What's the so, facility in Plano like? It's older, and um, I mean, it's still not, it's called the Plano Center. So the Plain Old Center, or the Plano Center. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's, it, it's, got a, it's got huge, it's out in the middle of, it's out in East Plano, and there's not much, it's out away from the city, so there's big fields all the way around it. They've got RV hookups out there, a few of them. And everybody camps out, and they've got parking lots on three, three or four sides of the building, and that's where they do the, the flea market stuff. So, it's uh, it's much it's much better for what they're trying to for what Hamcom's trying to do. And hams are are not known for liking spiffy modern convention center stuff. True, doesn't mean very much to them. I think that weighed a lot in the uh, decision that the. Uh, um, Dayton guys made in going to the Green County Fairgrounds. Right. They probably had some some nicer convention centers they could have gone to. Yes. And uh, but they wouldn't have been good for flea markets. And um, yes. They, so so they left a crumbling, falling down, but convention center ish hmm. with a big flea market parking lot mm-hmm. for another county fairgrounds. For a fairgrounds, but this is a fairground here, and they do really well here. So I, yeah. you know, I think oh, people are resistant to change. It's just human nature and that's fine but uh, didn't they didn't they break some i mean they had a record number of ticket sales last year for dayton that's what they said yeah i, I there's no yeah. way to to uh, verify that yeah. uh, that i know of and yeah. by looking at it it didn't look like it that, didn't look like how, it. how do you decide how things look because you've never seen that before. right right and it was more laid out it was there was more room especially in the outside um well, the area between buildings, there was more room in between buildings than yeah. there was. So yeah, walking through some of the the major con- the exhibitor buildings, um, it was nearly elbow to elbow the way that yeah. that uh, that Hera could get. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, you know, of course, the mud and stuff they got to work on that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. But, hey, well, look, look at the crowd behind you. This is a Friday crowd, um, right. and this is not their big building. This is their no. You know, they're sort of uh, off. Auxiliary building. No, auxiliary building. Yeah, yeah. and I don't think uh-huh. anybody complained about this as a Friday morning crowd. Mm-mm. No, no, this is this is good. So there's still a lot of people coming in. I got the drone up, and I got the big line of people waiting to come in right before nine o'clock. So that was a cool shot. I'm gonna put that in my. I've got drone envy. <laughs> uh, I love that thing, man. It's awesome. But. I just, I just you know, have to warn you that, that when you've got drone video, mm-hmm. you tend to want to use it, mm-hmm. and you can use it too much. Yes. So yes. You get to become the editor and and uh, you know, figure out just you know, how much drone is, is enough drone. Right. And how much is too much, then you know, you got to be careful with that. Oh, yeah. No, I agree. Well, and you're talking about post-editing. You almost have to post-edit a drone video because there's no audio to it. So you either have you to put... You can get audio. It's all... Yeah. You you either have to 
sub in your own voice talking in the background behind it and put it together, or you have to put music behind it or something so that it's not just dead dead air silence in a drone yeah. video. Yeah, so but it, it, you're going to use a drone uh, mostly for a field piece that's post-produced. Yes. Right, you know, right. And, and yeah. just get, get B-roll that you can't get any other way. Right, exactly, exactly. Rent a uh, so. helicopter for 200 bucks an hour. Right, right. right. So, if, but if, it's, if that. It's fun. It's fun. I, I like it. But So I was going to say, I think that you will like Huntsville. Okay. Um, now, we're, I was talking about uh, hams not needing to be in a spiffy convention center. Well, Huntsville is in a spiffy convention center. Okay. Now, it's, it's in one huge room. Okay. That seems like a huge room until you look at the rest of the convention center, and it's a tiny room <laughs> based okay. on the whole convention center. Yeah. Okay. But... Uh, but but for the Hamfest, it's a huge room. Mm -hmm. They've got a wall there with about twenty percent, twenty five percent more space if they ever need it to expand. Okay. Although they store a lot of stuff back in there. Okay. Um, so they can get bigger. It, I think their their average attendance is in the five thousand range. So it's okay. going to be considerably bigger than what you've seen in uh, in Dallas. Oh yeah. Um, there are a few other ham fests around the country that are in that range. I think some of the Pacific conventions are around there. Mm -hmm. So it's a contender for number three. This this here right. Orlando is clearly number two. Clearly it's number two. In between yeah. everybody yeah. in the five six thousand range. Yeah. And Dayton's twenty nine thousand. If that's what they really hit last year. Yeah. And uh, so this will. Last year they said this was nineteen thousand. I would, yeah, I was gonna. I was thinking seventeen eighteen somewhere. I couldn't remember exactly, but yeah, somewhere in there. Yeah. Which is also is about as big as this has ever gotten, right? And looking at this crowd, I'm going to say they're you know, they're going to make it they're again. Probably going to make, yeah, I would think so. So well, good. Um, but the nice thing about Orlando or uh, uh, um, Huntsville mm -hmm. is that it's in a, a nice building. It is in August mm -hmm. in Alabama. <laughs> the air conditioning will be on. Will be on. <laughs> yeah. No, no question yeah. about that. Right. Uh huh. And. Uh, and the commercial area and the flea market, the commercial area is set up with red drapes in about a quarter of that big building, mm -hmm. or that big room. Mm -hmm. And then the flea market is in an L shape around it on just typical flea market tables. Okay. So as nice as the convention center is, the hams crap it up really well. <laughs> yeah. You know, with their flea market tables. Right. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, but it's all indoors, of course, and, you know, in air conditioning. So, okay. Um, and it, it, the crowd fills it up really nicely, so good. I, I think you'll, you'll be impressed. Yeah. Okay. Good. I'm I'm told that's a, I'm told that's about 400 tables is what they have at Huntsville, and I don't know how many tables they sell at this place, but um, or at Dayton for that matter. But apparently there's one up in Seattle outside of Seattle called Mike and Keys Ham Fest or something like that. Never, Somebody never heard of it. I've never heard of it either. And got the CPAC. But that no, yeah, it's not CPAC. It's something different than CPAC. But they say that my, this Mike and Keys Ham Fest is also another 400 table Ham Fest. And I guess we just don't ever hear about it down here because it's like, gosh, from Dallas it's like a 23 hour drive. You know, if you go straight without stopping. <laughs> so um, it's crazy. I mean, you can't. I guess you could drive up there if you had all the time in the world. But you know, you'd probably want to fly up there. So. I, yeah, I drove to Seattle for a Tapper conference a few years ago. Did you really? Yeah. From North four, Carolina? <laughs> four, four days. Oh, yeah. It yeah, I don't doubt. It was a great time. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's fun to do, but I'm like, gosh, do you have two weeks of your life to kill on one show? So I, so, I consider that, you know, vacation time, although most of it is driving. Yeah. I, I did, uh, for those of you that wish uh, I would be doing another uh, on-the-road video, mm -hmm. I did like four on-the-road videos of, the, of the, the days that I was driving out there. So go back and look at those. Not only it is a great on the road video, but it's in the Rocky Mountains. A lot of oh, it, so it's really pretty. Nice. Okay, yeah. that's so an go, idea. Go check those out. Okay, okay. And no more on the road videos. Not for coming down here. Someone's going to come by here and find this booth. They they made comments on YouTube that they're they're going to come give me some crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put them in front of the microphone there. Uh, there you go. There you go. Show. Yeah. Don't don't talk trash on a live video. You're going to get stuck in front of the camera. <laughs> yep. Anyway, so I think you're gonna you're gonna like Huntsville. Good. Uh, so I, I do recommend going. Good. Um, but it won't be as big as this or, or anything else you've been to. No, no, I didn't expect it to be as big as but, this. But uh, I misspoke. It, it, it won't be as big as this or Dayton. <laughs> right. It, it yeah. will be as big as. Well, it'll be bigger than almost everything else you've been to. 
Probably so. Yeah, I think the biggest show I've been to... Well, Jackson, Mississippi used to have a really big show. And I'm told that... The, and it's in January. It was like two weeks ago. I'm told that it was way down this year. I didn't go. Okay. But... Uh, you, you used to have a couple of really big ham fests in North Carolina. Shelby? You, yeah, Shelby's supposed Shelby? to be a really good one, yeah. Not anymore. No? Yeah, I, I don't... I, I, I feel bad about talking trash about Shelby, but mm-hmm. but they had been in, in the, the seven, eight, ten thousand range mm-hmm. in a fairgrounds, and they um, had dispute with the fairgrounds board okay. uh, over money and access and things, and so they moved. That was the same time every ham fest was taking a hit. Oh, okay. so th- okay. they got a double whammy. Yeah, and they became sort of an also ran, and then they moved back. Couple mm-hmm. years ago, but they they have not regained their former luster. Has it has it grown since they've moved back though? Mm-hmm. Is it are the numbers going up? Maybe they may be trickling up a little bit. Okay, there was a big ham fest in Charlotte. Yes, I've heard of that one. Yep, and mm-hmm. it was at a nice uh, uh, convention center, all mm-hmm. indoors, mm-hmm. and um, also had to move. And also at about the same time when ham fests were generally taking a hit. I mean, yeah. even Dayton took a hit. They went. From, oh yeah. From the uh, mid twenty thousands to mm-hmm. back down to fifteen thousand, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. you know, fifteen thousand, every other ham fest in the world except for this one would kill for that. Right? Yeah, yeah. But um, uh, they they had to move out of town and um, and they have struggled and mm-hmm. you know lost all the. They used to have all the big name vendors mm-hmm. and the last big name vendor pull out last year. Oh, the same thing with Shelby. Uh, the, Icom pulled out, then Kenwood pulled out, then Yesu pulled out, and yeah. um, they still get. Uh, Ellacraft has a pretty sweet deal. They they have fan um, uh, enthusiast booths, and they supply banners and hats and stuff. But oh. I, don't, I don't think they supply any equipment. The enthusiasts bring their own equipment. Yeah, and they're happy to do it. And they yeah. set up what looks like a very commercial booth. They, they'll do it at our Hamfest in Raleigh. Oh, which is another Hamfest that, that peaked out at about thirty-five thousand people, and now it's struggling its way back close to two thousand. Um, and it got Thir- you it, said thirty-five thousand. Thir- uh, thirty-five hundred. Thirty-five hundred. That's what I thought you meant. <laughs> Raleigh, North Carolina, bring thirty-five thousand people. Huh? Yeah, wow. no, they did not. Uh, thirty-five hundred uh, at at its peak, and then yeah. uh, and and then yeah, it's, it's, it's struggling back to two thousand. But it had ICOM, it had yeah. Yesu, uh, okay. and now none of those folks will come. Oh, okay, uh, e- okay. E- even even um, at the at a reasonable size like that, mm-hmm. and I think you were saying that they were going. To the uh, the Plano, Irving, mm-hmm. Dallas Hamfest at that size, but yeah, because well, and I, I guess the sa- I, I'm I'm guessing here. I think the saving grace on Hamcom is that it's the West Gulf Division Convention for AWRL. So if you go to all these division conventions, most of them are this one here is the whatever whatever division we're in Southeast Southeast. Okay, so this was the division yeah. convention here. Um, I think the only small division convention that they have is Pacificon. I don't think it's very big. Other, the rest of them, all the good division conventions are usually pretty good sized shows, um, or have been traditionally. You know, like yeah. you said, I, I, they may be kind of trickling down. But uh, yeah, I've, I've never been to Pacificon but, either. I, it, no. I mean, it, it gets a lot of a lot of talk. But I don't it know does. How big but it is. Uh, apparently, I I was watching uh, K, uh, Bob KD6 UDA. He did he did a Pacificon video last year. And after he walked around, I watched that video, and I'm like, man, that's not as big as I thought it was going to be. It looked like Albuquerque, which Albuquerque is not a bad show, but it's not, I mean, you know, it's probably 1,000, 1,500 people, something like that. Yeah, so Any more, that's, um, that's a halfway decent ham fest. Right, yeah. So, But all the big names come to Hamcom. Yezu, Kenwood, Icom are there. Alinko is usually there. They weren't there last year. MFJ's there. I mean, if, if, if MFJ comes to a show, you, you know it's usually a pretty decent show. Yeah, that's that's but, the, the last one that uh, Charlotte lost. Yeah. W- well, one of the things about any ham fest that attracts big vendors or, or that they keep <laughs> that they keep uh, uh, telling us at our one-day ham fest in Raleigh is that they won't come to a one-day. They'll want to come to a two-day. Yes. Even if day number two is dead as a doornail. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so, so um, Huntsville's two-day. Mm-hmm. Um, it's Sunday is not dead, yeah, but it is very small compared to Saturday. See, and that's what I've been told about Orlando, and I've never been because the guys I ride with from the Dallas area they they want to leave after the show on Saturday. So last year I rode with them, 
it was the first time I was here. We left on Saturday evening, and we're doing that again tomorrow, so I won't see Sunday. Sunday at Dayton is a lot slower than the other two days. So I, it, I, it wasn't at Hera. The times I was at Hera, it was slower, slower. than Saturday. Yeah, but yeah, I guess the way I would put it is that... Uh, it was still it, worth the, being there. Every other ham fest would kill for Dayton's Sunday numbers. Well, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. But I, one of these years I'm going to drive myself up here and stay for the whole thing because I'd like to at least see it kind of thing. And I know you did two or three interviews on Sunday last year. It makes it easier. Yeah. Right, yeah. It's kind of after everything winds down because tomorrow's when all the forums go on. So if you ever want to do anything besides just go hit forums all day long, you have to be here either on Friday or on Sunday. And a lot of people work on Friday and can't get here until... Yeah. Although once again, Later. look 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 at whoops look at what's behind you. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Yeah, well, but that's good. Not bad. That's good. Maybe everybody likes the warmer weather. <laughs> uh, and this ham fest didn't used to open until noon on Sunday. Oh, and really? Three years ago, mm-hmm. they got the AWRL National. Yes. And they opened at nine o'clock on Friday. Mm-hmm. Did I say noon on Sunday? Noon on you, Friday. Noon. I, yeah. I heard noon on Friday, but I don't. Okay. You might have said Sunday. <laughs> Uh, any case, they didn't used to open until noon on Friday. Okay, and now they open uh, at nine. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and I was thinking, well, would they keep doing that after the national? And mm-hmm. they have. And yeah. it's certainly been you know, it's it's ten thirty in the morning right now. Right, so, you know, right. It's doing fine. Yep. Um, this will be more of a destination ham fest, more of a yeah. you know, something people go to like they've gone to date. Right. Yep, I agree. Um, so uh, I think I'm. Uh, out of gas here. Yeah. Sounds got, good. Got a little bit of work to do. Okay. So uh, congratulations on keeping up a great show. Thank you. And uh, Ham Radio 2.0 mm-hmm. live from the Ham Shack. <laughs> did, did you bring my shirt? Yes, I did. What size is it again? My. Um, I brought a box of shirts. It wasn't, so. it wasn't the Ham Radio uh, 2.0 shirt. Which oh, one was it? Uh, Marty. Wasn't it Marty that gave, gave, gave us both shirts at Dayton and... I stuffed mine in your backpack or something, and it, I never got it back. Is that ringing any I don't, bells? I know. Okay. I don't, that doesn't sound familiar to me at all. <laughs> Sorry. Because why would Marty have shirts? Yeah, uh, yeah. Marty Fa- from... Phas- phasing or- line shirts. Oh, yeah. No, no, that wasn't me. I don't have a shirt of yours in that regard. Maybe Marty has my... Oh, Marty has my Ham Radio 2.0 shirt. That's it. I got it backwards. Oh. You gave us, you gave us both shirts. Okay. And um, I was, we'll that sounds you. familiar. Yes, yeah. yes. And, then, and I stuffed it in Marty's yeah. backpack, and I never got it back. Okay, okay. That sounds familiar. Well, if you don't get it, let me know. I've got <laughs> I've got a bunch of Ham Radio 2.0 shirts. Not, that. not that I can give you publicity on the air anymore. No, that's all right. <laughs> I've got a few more shows to do here, and <laughs> yeah. I'll be gone. Yeah, that's okay. But hey, if you wouldn't mind being a guest speaker every now and then on my show, we can we can yeah, do that. No, I'm going to so. have a podcast studio. It's just going to be you know, just uh, audio, right? Well, I, I've got all. Got to push the right buttons. Here. I, I've got all I got all the TV equipment. Right. I, I will do the show. It's going to be called the Triangle Talk Show. Okay. For the it's the Research Triangle Park in the they call the Raleigh Durham Chapel Hill area the Triangle. Oh, okay. I don't okay. know if there's any other triangles around the the country or not um, that identify themselves I'm, that way. I'm not, sure. Not that I know of. Probably. I don't know. There's, there's tri cities and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Huh. Anyway, that's but and it'll be an audio. For audio first, audio audio forward. <laughs> yeah, show. Yeah, but uh, because I've got all the TV equipment, and that, that that's what I'm. Why I'm setting up this stuff here with all these little webcams is to do a cheapy little video show on the road. Right. Um, a, a, an audio show with a cheapy little video component to it. Yes. <laughs> okay. So we'll see. We'll okay. see how that works. Okay. I, I may have some TV cameras to sell. There you go. Some okay. Big, some big ones. You know, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. I, I got some other things I'd like to do with those too. Okay. All okay. right. Uh, yeah. Let's let's wrap it up. Uh, I am um, I am this guy Gary Pierce scan for AQ. You are. Uh, I'm Jason. Uh, this guy. No. I this can't. Guy. I can't see it. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jason, KC5 HWB. And uh, oh, I, I forgot to talk about. Did I even set up a? Um, Get my uh, cursor going over here. Did I even set up a uh, an Arvin thing there? If you oh. enjoy the program, yeah, I realize I've, I've got some some uh, 
stand-up cards up there on the front table mm-hmm. that that have a phrase on them uh, that I never have used on the on the show. Mm-hmm. I'll you know on the show I'll say if you enjoy the program you get something out of them. What it says on the card there is it's free to watch. Mm-hmm. It's not free to make. It's not free to make. <laughs> no, that's Yours right. isn't free to make either. No, nope. that's true. Um, so uh, send money. I'll, I'll be shipping it off to David. Don't worry. Hamradio.tv. I've got to fix the thing that makes the title go away. I don't have the end title, and I'm not going to edit it on, so it will just go to black after I say over. And out. And now it goes to black. Beep.